there are those who shrink from too close a scrutiny of themselves, who dread too complete a self-revelation, and who fear that solitude would leave them alone with their thoughts and call up before their mental vision the wrath of their desires. And so they go where the din of pleasure is loudest, and where the reproving voice of truth is drowned. But he who loves truth, who desires and seeks wisdom, will be much alone. He will seek the fullest, clearest revelation of himself, will avoid the haunts of frivolity and noise and will go where the sweet, tender voice of the Spirit of Truth can speak within him and be heard. While a man is absorbed in the contemplation of inward realities, he is receiving knowledge and power. He opens himself, like a flower, to the universal light of truth, and receives and drinks in its life-imparting rays. He also goes to the eternal foundation of knowledge and quenches his thirst in its inspiring waters. Such a man gains, in one hour of concentrated thought, more essential knowledge than a whole year's reading could impart. Being is infinite and knowledge is illimitable, and its source inexhaustible, and he who draws upon the innermost depths of his being drinks from the spring of divine wisdom which can never run dry and quaffs the waters of immortality.